Hello. So I just did a video um, based on old love, so that'd be, you know, an ex coming back around. Uh, the energy I got from that video is basically someone that took you for granted in the past, so it's best for you not to reach out. I think that there's this, this off-balance energy exchange where you would feel their energy, like you'd feel them start to, you'd go months without talking or years even, and then you would feel their energy, you'd feel them coming up in dreams or missing you, you could just tell, and then you would cave and message them, and then you'd go back to square one, and they would take you for granted all over again. And it's just a repetitive cycle you guys have where this person just did not make you feel beautiful or wanted. They just took you for granted. So, you know, ultimately you have free will. It's up to you. I personally would not wait for something like that. It doesn't seem like it's worth it. But that energy, if you want to know what's going on with that person, that um, that reading is up now. Just just check, check um, my channel for it. Uh, now I'm going to go into new love, though, because for, for a lot of you, new love is, for the people that are drawn to my channel, new love is coming in for you. Like, that's the collective energy I get for those drawn to my channel, that you do have an ex coming back around at least once. Some of you have multiple exes coming back around, because a lot of you are stepping into your power, too, so you're going to have, you're going to be surprised at just how many people come back around that you never thought you'd hear from again. Uh, but you also have new love coming in. And the new love, I think, is for most of you, that's going to be a better option for you if you're one of those people that was, you know, taken for granted or mistreated. Um, you know, those you're breaking those patterns. The energy is shifting. You're manifesting someone much better and much healthier for you. So I'm going to go ahead and pull some cards on the new love. Please keep in mind, it's totally possible that my individual Zodiac readings will resonate with you, and this might not. This might not be... You might be in that energy group um, with the individual Zodiac readings, but you might not be in this energy group particularly. So if it doesn't resonate, it just means it's not your reading. But this is for new love. So let's see what's going on with new love. What do you need to know? It's a sexy energy, submissive and weak-willed. So yeah, this is, this is like someone that's going to give in to their... Um, I see that as passion. I'm gonna I always read the cards intuitively and and I see that as you know, it's like a sexy energy. You see that? It's it's passion, it's it's romance, it's it's true love, you know. Okay, let's see what the cards have to say. I also make these oracle decks. All the decks I'm using today I'll be making so uh, so yeah, if you're interested in purchasing, just send me an email. I also do paid private readings. My contact info is below. Any donations are appreciated too. Even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. What is this hidden truth? Open honest communication message. Can you guys see that? Sorry. Yeah, truth and clarity. Nostalgia, longing. See, I just sense a lot of passion in this reading. Like a lot of, like this is the kind of love you were waiting for, the kind of love you were hoping and praying to the universe for. Yeah, you were trapped and blocked and tied up before with the karmic, but now you have someone where it's just... Mutual feelings, emotional depth, right there. See that? I just sent someone completely giving in to love. Like, this is such a beautiful energy. There's so much. We have passion, romance, courage, assertiveness. We got more passion here. We've got truth and clarity, longing, uh, mutual feelings. Like, look at that energy. Look at, like, look at that couple. Like, look how they're embracing each other. You know, and again, this could be male, male, it could be female, female, uh, you could be male, they could be female. Also, it's it's whatever energy you're in. So don't get caught up on wording. I do want to say too, that I feel like I've, I've been in abusive relationships in the past. And I think that I'm part of why I, I'm, you know, here, why you guys are led to me is a lot of people that are drawn to my channel have also been in emotionally unavailable and toxic relationships, you know, physically abusive, mentally abusive, being ghosted, all that energy. 
Because I think part of my purpose on this channel is to help you guys shift out of that energy. I don't want to be one of those psychics that tells you guys, oh, your abusive ex is getting it together and they're coming back around and they're going to treat you like a queen or treat you like a king. Because it's like, I don't believe that. I really don't. Like, I think I would rather help you guys end those patterns and attract someone better, attract someone that's high quality. You know, I'm not going to be one of those psychics that just tells you what you want to hear. Um, I want to help you guys get out of that energy and and break those subconscious patterns so that you can manifest someone who's actually going to be your equal, so that you can manifest someone who is emotionally available, you know, who does want you, who does love you. But I, I keep telling you guys the story about your exes because I know and I know some of you want to do want to know about that, and you guys have free will. But I just want to put that out there that even though I'm telling you about your exes, it doesn't mean that I encourage you to go back to them. And for some of you, your exes are still a good person. Like there's not, I don't want to say that every single one of you has an abusive ex or a toxic ex that's that I'm channeling. I'm just saying that energy comes up for a lot of you. Some of them, there are a few zodiac signs where I do get the energy of an ex that actually is a good person, but they just have some issues that they need to work through and they'll be coming back around eventually. But for a lot of you, I get I get toxic energy from the exes, to be honest. I, I get that you have a pattern with men or you have a pattern with women. And so I really want to do all I can to help you guys break that pattern. But you know, this this channel is ultimately it's it's what you want to see on here. You know, I wanna I wanna hear from you guys. So that's why I've been trying to have a balance because some people do still want to know about the exes, and then some people want to know about the new love that's coming in. So I'm trying to tell you guys both stories, and then you have the free will to choose if you want to go back to the old patterns or if you want to break those patterns and go forward and have this new love instead. But um anyway. So this person, okay, I just sense romance and passion. This could be someone you met at a club or a party or someone that you're going to meet. There's, I don't know, something there with like with clubs or parties or social, like maybe being introduced through friends. There's some kind of energy there. And I feel like it just takes a lot of courage and assertiveness to move forward and break these old patterns. You know what I mean? Because I think a lot of you are going to be tested, especially with Mercury retrograde coming up. That was a that was an energy I kept getting, especially the the zodiac readings that I just did a few days ago. I got really strong ex boyfriend, ex girlfriend energy. I got really strong um, energy of people wanting to come back around. I think Leo had like three different people. You had like two exes thinking about you and one new person coming in. Uh, and a lot of you have that same energy where you might have more than one person coming back around and it's almost like a test. It's like, how committed are you to this new life? You know, especially during Mercury Retrograde, exes come back in a lot. And, you know, it's going to take courage and assertiveness to push past that loneliness, to stand in your ground. And even if you haven't seen this new love manifest, just know that you deserve this, know that you want this, you know, align with this vibration and don't go, don't get sucked back into the old patterns out of loneliness. Because if you're honest with yourself, you know that you don't want that anymore. You know that it's going to be the same old, same old. You know that once you get back together, you're going to feel alone. You're going to be mistreated. You're going to be taken for granted. Like it's easy to romanticize when you've lost someone, but you know, is it really a loss? Like you got to ask yourself those questions. It might be painful. You might be in the three of swords energy for a while, but it's, it's worth it to shut those people out, to do the cut and clear rituals, to, to manifest this new love, even if it takes a lot of work. You know, and you guys are all in different stages of your journey. For some of you, it's going to, it's going to be hard. Mess healing is messy. It's going it, to, for some of you, it's going to be really hard to end these patterns and cycles and have that breakthrough so that you can have this new love. You know, it's like, cause it's subconscious, it's body language. It's who you're, you know, you're physically attracted to and attracting negative people or you have in the past. So it's like, you, you got to be committed to ending those patterns finally. And like I said, it's, it's easier said than done sometimes. Sometimes it does take a lot of work. Um, you do have to go through that messy healing process, but once you do, and it's different for everybody. Like I said, some of you have already met this new person. Some of you, this new person is coming in soon, but you're already together in the 5D and you can kind of feel their energy. Like you feel that sense of love and support. You feel like you're about to meet someone, even though you don't know who it is, but this, this new love is here, whether it's, whether it's here physically for you or whether it's in the higher realms and it's coming in physically, like you guys are communicating and planning in the higher realms to bring this together physically, your guides are bringing this together physically, whatever it is, you, you have this love, this is already yours. 
and you have passion and romance, like I said, like I said, this could be someone that you meet through friends or through a party, or maybe that you met through a party, or like at a club or something, or some kind of like social event that you met them at. I think they're going to be submissive. Look at look at all this sexual energy too. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry here. Like this person is going to be submissive in to this connection. You know, whereas I think in your past, like you've had exes that have kind of been able to um like shut you down or like refuse your charm. You know what I mean? Like you tried to be cute with them or you tried to be charming and it's almost like they were able to shut you out and it made you feel unattractive. Like, why am I not able to like kind of be seductive and cute? Like, why can't I get my way? You know, it's like almost like you'd be playful with them and they would shut it down. This person is going to be all about you. This person is going to be submissive. You give them that cute little, you know, puppy dog stare and you're going to get whatever you want from this person because it's like this person is just going to love you. They're going to be just enchanted by you and en entranced by you. It's like they're, um, you guys are going to bring out the best in each other, you know, and more passionate energy. Make your move. Green light, you know, wanting to go forward. Risk, reward bold gesture choosing love over fear so if you watch my my video that i just posted on the x can you see how different this energy is there was not a hint of this person taking you for granted or making you feel unwanted or making you question where this person stands it's like you don't even have to watch these with this person because you're gonna know like you're not even gonna have to watch these videos like you're not even gonna have to watch the videos on new love i mean you might watch them anyway just to see what's going on and see what they're feeling but like this person's gonna let you know like you're gonna feel it by the way they look at you by the way they treat you by the way they, they talk to you you're just going to know where you stand with this person whereas with exes in your past it's like you never knew where you stood you had to like frantically search for psychic readings trying to figure out like, do they love me? Do they want me? Are they thinking about me? Like, are they coming back? Are they with someone else? And it's like with this person, they're just, you're going to know, like, you're just, you're going to feel it. You know, I hope you guys stay on my channel when this comes in. Don't, don't leave me stay on here. <laughs> but, but yeah, you're not going to, it's like, it's like, you're just, they'll just know you're not going to, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to have to worry about it. It's like you're just going to feel it. They're going to choose, like, just, just tune into this energy. Just feel how different this feels than the the readings I've done on the X's. It's like risk, reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. More just masculine, assertive, kind of like dominant, sexy energy here. Um, could be could be a, like a dominant kind of male or just a female that's in dominant energy, um, like in that masculine energy. But I sense like a... It's like a masculine energy, but it's like romantic and vulnerable and sensitive too. It's like the best of both worlds. Hidden truth. This could be a secret admirer. This actually could be a secret admirer, I'm wondering. Because someone wants to reveal a hidden truth to you through a message, open, honest communication message. So I'm wondering if someone's thinking about confessing their feelings to you. I'm wondering if someone that you met at a club or party or you met some, some social event, some like gathering or festival somewhere, farmer's market, even wherever it's like someone that you met out in, um, God, what is that energy? It's like, there's just like a hidden truth. They want to reveal. They want open, honest communication. They want to message you. They're, they're thinking about messaging you. I think they're, maybe it was the wrong timing for you guys before. Maybe it's the right timing now. It's, it's interesting energy, but they're wanting to come forward. And again, just look at this. Look at this passion. It's like, look at just this love, this passion, you know? I think they're nostalgic. I think that truth that's coming out is they're nostalgic for you. They're longing for you. So maybe this is someone that, that knew you before. Maybe, maybe you're with someone else or it was just the wrong timing. They're kind of waiting and hoping and praying that you'll be receptive to this message, you know? Maybe you were trapped before, kind of tied up by a karmic, or they were tied up by a karmic, and now they're they're taking the blindfold off, and they want... It's like you guys are mirroring each other in that sense. Maybe you both had karmic relationships you were stuck in, or you both, you both had... It was just the wrong timing before. I don't know if you met this person or not yet, but maybe that's why it didn't come in before. Maybe you were ready for love, like, a year ago, but maybe they were still with somebody else, and, like, the divine was like, you know what, that's your person, so you know, it sucks. Like, and you're probably like, why am I not manifesting love? Why am I not manifesting love? Like I'm doing all the right things. Where's love? And it's like, well, it wasn't there because 
your person wasn't ready. Like you were in alignment with it. You had healed. You were ready. You were on pay on on page with it. But your the divine had chosen this person for you, and they themselves were not ready. They were, you know, they were going through some stuff. So, you know, now I feel like it's the right timing, you know, mutual feelings, emotional depth. And like I said, maybe you didn't know, maybe you don't even know this person yet. Maybe it's just like you were trying to manifest love and your person was with someone else or they were just in a dark place or they had some stuff to get through uh, before they could be ready for you. And so maybe you hadn't even met yet. Or for some of you, maybe you did meet them, but it was just the wrong timing. And now they're they're thinking about coming back around like but this would not be someone that took you for granted like I don't feel the energy of someone that like like treated you like crap like that's not this energy this is someone who's like good like this is like someone that your body will just intuitively feel good around like you'll feel that passion with them you'll feel that romance with them like you'll just feel good about their energy you know what I mean like you'll just have a positive feeling about them um, and so, so yeah, there, there's this hidden truth where they're wanting open, honest communication. They want a message. They want to talk. They want to talk. What do they want to tell you? I'm trying to have the willpower, strength, and confidence to come forward. New love, faded encounter. There might be something faded about the way that you guys met too when you met each other. Like maybe it was just destiny, how, how you guys were led to each other, you know, and there's some sadness that they had to work through, but... Yeah, I think that one or both of you went through some a lot of crap with a karmic sadness, manipulation, deception, and then they, you know, they someone had to pause, reflect, rest, and go through a healing process before they could be ready for new love again. You know, maybe there was some miscommunication there. Yeah, something with the ex, pride, stubbornness, just drama with the ex, and so maybe they need to take it kind of slow. There's, yeah, there's a third party distraction there, but this is, this is true that this is good energy. I get a very strong sexual energy too, like a really romantic sexual energy, like just passion off the charts, like you have not even known before, like, like better sex than you've ever had in your life. Like just that kind of energy, publicity, social media, some of them might be stalking you on social media, you know, wondering if you're open. Wondering what you're doing because maybe you're kind of focused on other stuff right now. Maybe they're wondering. Yeah, some of them want to apologize for not being available in the past. They're kind of shy, but I feel like it's going to move fast when it does come in. Um, I mean, I think they're going to want to take it slow, but it's like, it's almost like you guys are just, the passion is going to be so intense. I don't even know. It's going to be hard to pace yourselves almost. So you guys are just going to fall in love that quickly. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching. If this resonates, please go ahead and subscribe. Um, if it resonates, please, if you can donate even just a dollar, it really adds up quickly. And my PayPal link is right below. You can just click it and simply just put a dollar in. It's really fast, less than 10 seconds. Um, and, if, and if you'd like to purchase this deck, I it's available. I also do paid private readings and my email is below. Thank you for watching.